What's good YouTube? So it's been a while since I filmed any workout footage so I thought I'd give you guys a little update. So here's my workout with Olivia. Uh, we go to the gym every uh, Friday. Honestly I've been pretty lazy with my lifting. Uh, I've been uh, making progress still but it's been quite slow because so I've only been doing one day a week. Uh, but yeah back to uh, two days a week. Now I'm going to do two, day, two weeks at uh, two days a week and then go back up to three days a week. Uh, yeah, I can't over uh, tax myself too much with the martial arts training and starting back working and all of that kind of thing. So, I'm going to ease myself into it so it doesn't affect my performance and anything else. So, there we've had Olivia just do uh, three sets of five on the uh, paused incline with 45 kilos. I've got 75 kilos now for my uh, third set of five. Forgot to pause that first rep, but all the other reps were uh, nice and paused. Uh, so, yeah, it seems to be uh, going reasonably well. I'm um, not progressing quite as fast as I'd like to, but hopefully that will start, that will start to change again when I'm back to doing three days. And then we have Olivia do one more little bonus set, so she's probably really pretty fatigued by this point. But I decided to put 55 kilos on the bar and see how many reps you can get with that. The personal best before this was two reps, and here she manages to get a third. Uh, I think that is just ludicrously strong for a natural woman. And um, been trying to find some other footage of women doing the incline bench, and I can't find any other women anywhere online who've actually been able to outbencher on the incline and so, uh, be interested to see what the uh, limits of uh, female strength are there uh, she seems pretty damn close if anywhere so I'm not pausing with these reps obviously yeah, we're going heavier just seeing what she can do she gets three reps without any real trouble here and well, maybe a bit of trouble, actually. She goes for a fourth. And it doesn't happen. No shame in that. Three reps is absolutely amazing. She beat her previous by uh, one rep, which is great. So soon, um, soon she should be repping out uh, 60 kilos. And moving on to deadlift now, so yeah, and as you can see, you know, Olivia does have quite a bit of trouble uh, walking, um, she has cerebral palsy, but she's made incredible progress on, on the deadlift. Uh, she's gone from not being able to bend down to touch her knees without falling over to being able to pull uh, 35 kilos from the floor. Here we've only got 25 kilos on the bar. Uh, her performance does fluctuate quite a lot with these uh, due to fatigue and uh, those kind of issues. It's uh, quite difficult to uh, program. It's quite difficult to program for her. On uh, performance does fluctuate quite a lot, and the uh, rep max calculations just do not apply to her at all. Uh, so um, on the leg press, for example. Uh, there's literally two and a half kilos between her 20 rep max and her one rep max on any given day. Uh, it's, it just works completely differently for her. And so what I'd like to be doing is focusing on high reps. So we're going to stick to uh, 25 kilos since that's the lowest we can actually put on the bar. That's with the 15 kilo bar and the two lightest full size plates. So we're just going to stick at that weight until she can reliably get 10 reps and then we're going to start adding weight to the bar again and we'll uh, do it like that. I think that's probably the best way for her to progress in the uh, long term. So she keeps going, she tries another few attempts um, after those two reps. Uh, it's not going to happen today and that's fine. Um, she's got two reps which is two more reps than if she didn't bother coming in at all uh, even on her worst days she's still doing considerably better than she did on her strongest days when she started it's made a huge difference to her walking yeah yeah some days it's a lot worse than others but on her good days her walking has improved so much 
where we've actually had her recently walking uh, a mile completely unaided and me there by her side just in case she did fall over but she managed to walk a mile completely uh, unaided which was just inconceivable a matter of months ago. Now on to pull-ups, so very very close to being able to do pull-ups uh, by herself now we've got her practicing these assisted pull-ups three days a week and she's got to the stage where I just need her to just gently push up you know, maybe only a couple of pounds of force there for her to complete her first rep she got about two thirds of the way completely by herself um, yeah, definitely getting better at the pull-ups. That was her second set. The first set, uh, she managed to do uh, 10 with me assisting her. Uh, yeah, pretty damn happy with that as well. So another couple of months, and hopefully she'll be able to do at least two or three reps completely unaided, and that should start to make progress much, much easier. So on to the uh, uh, dumbbell overhead press now. Only 10 kilos in each arm. Um, she's not very experienced in uh, this lift at all, but she should start progressing really, really quickly. What we're going to be doing with the overhead press for both me and Olivia is we're going to be uh, using the same set and the same weight each time. And uh, once we go to 20 reps, that's when we're going to start. That's when we're going to go uh, up to the next dumbbell size, which is two kilos heavier and we should start to see some pretty good progress with this as well uh, combined with the incline press which works a lot of the same muscles this should this should uh, really help to add a lot of size i think she managed 10 reps there which isn't too bad she should be get to i think she should get to 20 fairly soon she just has to get used to uh, doing um, doing that weight doing that exercise and you know, having that much volume in her workouts. So my sets, uh, these are 18s. I think I managed to get quite close to uh, 20 reps. I'm much stronger at these when I'm standing or when I'm standing up. Uh, so yeah, I managed to do 22 kilos for 20 reps. But um, on the days I'm working with Olivia, I'm doing them uh, sat down as well. We're trying to make our you know workouts as similar as, as similar as possible, really. And I superset this with some dumbbell curls. I might start having Olivia do that from next week. I'm going to start adding some supersets and drop sets into our workouts just to make them more efficient, just to get them done that much, uh, that little bit quicker. And uh, hopefully that should see some decent results because we don't have all bloody day to train. We've got other stuff to do. So anything we can do to make the workouts more efficient, especially on uh, the accessory lifts, I think is worth doing. Now this was planned to be our final lift of the day. We're doing uh, crunch, uh, weighted crunch drop sets. So Olivia's starting with 16 kilos. So I'm just helping her get set up. You know, this is uh, quite a new lift for her as well. And I'm starting with the 32 kilos. And we just keep going until we can't do any more, and then drop set. So Olivia drops to 8 kilos, I drop to 16, then Olivia drops to body weight, I drop to 8, and then I drop to uh, body weight after that. I didn't start far enough down the mat on this one, and that got really quite irritating. 
Uh, my back ended up sort of half off the mat and I could feel it really digging into me. So a few times during this, I ended up having to just slide my body a bit further down. Uh, just something for me to be aware of uh, next time. But I might just not bother with the mat at all. Um, I don't find it any more comfortable than the floor, personally. So, uh, Olivia's doing body weight crunches. I think it's three days a week on top of these. So, she, she's going to be seeing some incredible progress from doing this. I'm just doing weighted crunches two days a week. And sometimes, if I feel like it, I'll do some, I'll do some crunches on other days of the week as well. And, um, but, yeah, two days a week of weighted crunches, I think, is pretty sufficient as it is. But a little bit more, it's not going to do any harm. It's going to help improve work, um, uh, work rate capacity and that, all of that good stuff. So when I feel like it, I do it as well. So yeah, like I said, this was planned to be the final exercise of the day. But I thought, fuck it. Let's move on and let's do some more curls. So final exercise then, uh, I haven't had Olivia doing seated uh, curls before, I think this would be a very good exercise for her, if she can't do them standing up very well it would be pretty unsafe, so these seated curls are probably a very good option for her, I'm just showing her how to uh, do it properly. So we get Olivia to do the uh, 10 kilos, I do the 20 kilos. And you know, obviously, bear in mind, I'm stood up doing these. I should be able to handle a bit more, a bit more weight. Inevitably, when you're standing up doing an exercise, you do end up cheating ever so slightly. You're going to end up throwing your um, your body and your momentum into it, even if it's just subconsciously. You're going to end up doing it, which you can uh, see here. I'm cheating a bit more than I thought I was. Uh, by this point, we are both absolutely knackered. So, after those, I do a drop set. I think it's probably a good idea Olivia does a drop set in her future workouts as well. So, she'll go 10 to 5, I'll do 20 to 10. And uh, uh, they're the biggest dumbbells I have in that area. So, I guess I'll just have to increase my reps on 20. And Olivia will be focusing on uh, getting the weight uh, gradually up over time. So there's my workout for the day. I'd also at some point like to do an update on the adherence reward template which, uh, which I've planned. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.